hello everyone so today we are going to rework on these explosive barrels uh, using chaos destruction system previously i had used apex destruction system to implement these explosive barrels so now as you can see here they are getting distracted but this time we are using uh, chaos so Let's see how to implement this today. So actually I had previously worked on this uh, barrel explosion system uh, and in Unreal Engine 4 I had used Apex destruction system but with Unreal Engine 5 Apex is uh, deprecated and now we have chaos destruction system. So I have to change my barrels, these destructible barrels, to use Chaos Destruction System. So that's what I want to do now. I'm going to do now. So I already have the Explosive Barrel Blueprint, but as you can see here, we had used this uh, uh, destructible component, but it's not visible now because even though you can see, the apex destruction and you have enabled it it's not working for some reason mm, so let's create uh, let's replace this uh, destructible mesh apex destructible mesh with the uh, chaos version of the destructible mesh so for that let's first go to fracture mode let me put it here okay already have it oh. <laughs> right select this and new so under meshes barrel <coughs> let's name it this is a geometry collection so gc barrel right now let's fracture it with what let's try cluster okay here we have the settings and press fracture right mm. okay now we can simulate this and see how it is exploded like this maybe since this is a barrel we don't need this much of parts so let's try four did it reduce the parts I'm not sure Oh, this one is right 10. Ah, oh, yeah, that definitely reduces. Right, anyway, let's just go with this. So, this is saved here, right? GC barrel, okay. Okay, uh, now let's go back to the normal mode. Let me remove this. Wait. Wait, let's play and see what happens to this. Nothing. Okay. Oh, wait. Let's keep it for now. Does this automatically break into pieces? No. Okay. Hmm. 
right now uh, it's not straightforward as in apex destruction like destroying this uh, geometry collection so previously we were able to just apply radius damage and destroy it into components but for these geometric collections it doesn't work like that so if i it has to have some force so let me simulate this so see it doesn't get destroyed but if i here mm, there is a way to change the damage threshold where is it Ah, here. So if I reduce this, let's say like this. Wait, was it other way around? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's have some smaller values for damage thresholds. Now you see it broke into pieces so but if I keep it here it doesn't explode uh, what if player run into that okay it does explode right but the problem is um, how do we explode them through code for that uh, here uh, let me move this explosives right let me move this explosive barrel and explosive component inside that folder Here we can create a subclass from field from this FS master field. Let me select that. Uh, oh. FS damage let's just call it damage if I add it here now you can see see that is exploded let me simulate okay see just like that it explodes so we need to spawn one of these field systems if we want to uh, explode these barrels in the runtime like this so uh, let me delete this and delete barrel and here so uh, this is the function this explode function this is the function that makes the barrel explode but here we have this explosive object so let me drag and drop that geometry collection here gc barrel just like this okay um it doesn't have to be under explosive object so now if i 
add this here it should automatically get destroyed because of the collision of two objects let me simulate oh no it didn't happen right so anyway now we need to remove the explosive object and replace it with this geometry collection so gc object let's name it and let's get a references to where we have used this explosive object obviously we are applying damage and here we are what's this now ah, this is when we fade out the debris okay so gc object mm. So this part, let me collapse and name it damage, no, this dropped mesh. So we need to fix this part and here also we need to use this. Uh, this part is working so let me remove that reference here and here mm -hmm. how can we handle this part uh, we can spawn actor from class here we can use fs master field and as the location we can use get at uh, location always spawn ignorations right Shall we try this? Why nothing is happening? Well, maybe this uh, collision events are interfering what's the collision profile it's blocking all here this is also blocking all shall we try setting destructible here It is working. Ah, maybe the recoil. Right, it is working. Mm, now we can remove this. Let's try now. Alright, and there is a delay. Um, the delay is because here uh, delay amount. We have a delay amount. Let me set it to zero. 
This is the active we are spawning, right? Oh, master force failed. Let's use our child class. FS damage. Because master force field is the parent and we only changed the delay amount here. <laughs> and after a while we should destroy this uh, spawned object also. Otherwise there will be Force field objects lying around in the world. So set lifespan to one. Actually, I don't know if they automatically destroy it. Anyway, better to do that. Okay, let's try it now. Great. working as expected let me place two of them just to see if the explosions are propagating that part let's explode with the grenade great it works Okay, so I guess that's all I want to do for today. And thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.